Is it recording? What was I going to say? Coming soon. Fig lap time. Round up. Okay, so that's the fig lap. What's up, everybody? It's Jared from Berkshire Biking Board. It is the first week of October, and this is a State of the Shop update. So, what happened this weekend? Well, first things first. I got a lot of comments over the last few weeks now that we started doing these YouTube videos, and it doesn't seem like everyone likes my upstairs space. I don't see any problems with it. Old croissant, my dirty riding gear, but I spend probably more than half of my life right here, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, moving forward. Next, over the weekend, what happened? Tucker came out of retirement, won a mountain bike race. Didn't race the pro category, so in my opinion, it doesn't really count. Iggy Pop did a whip at Thunder, and I rode my bike to work today, so I am feeling good. A few other things. Uh, what's happening this weekend? We're having a massive sale this weekend, a tent sale. It's gonna be at our Pittsfield location, our Great Barrington location, our Hudson location, and it's gonna be a big one. Electric mountain bikes, full suspension mountain bike, active turbo bikes, kids bikes, clothing, trainers, you name it, it's probably gonna be on sale. Um, up to 80 or 75% off of clothing in the tent. Bikes are up to 40% off, so yeah. It's going to be a big one. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Columbus, or Indigenous People's Day's weekend. Big sale. Last but not least, for now at least, gravel ride updates. So the gravel ride this past week, Wednesday, was awesome, except for we had 25 people and probably three of them knew the route. You don't have the route loaded either? It's not that big of a deal on the road rides if not everyone knows the route because we're on the road. It's sunny out. It's not really that scary. But at 8 o'clock at night when it's cold and you fall in a mud puddle or your friend fell in a mud puddle, and you don't know how to get home and you're in the middle of a back road in the middle of the wilderness and Sasquatch is chasing after you, you gotta have the route on your computer. How do you do it? There's plenty of videos that we've posted in the past about how to upload the route onto your computer. Come by the shop, talk to somebody, we'll show you how to do it, but I hate saying that things are mandatory, but it's mandatory. Um, this week's route leaves from the Egremont Town Free Public Library, it's technically in South Egremont. It's on the Google Calendar. I think that's it for now. Okay, so at the bike shop here in the spirit of fun, what we thought would be interesting for people watching is at the end of all of our state of the shop videos, we do a test lap. We're gonna try and do it with a new, a cool, a different bike, but we're gonna not discriminate and do it with bikes of all different shapes and sizes. So we made a little test track. We're gonna time it. We got a test track rider, that coming in a second here. We're gonna record the laps of each bike and then I'm gonna write it my favorite piece of paper right here. So, without further introduction, Top Gear likes to use the Stig. We've got ourselves the Fig. That's the Fig. We wanted to keep the test track pretty well-rounded because we're gonna do it on all sorts of different bikes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we have a secret rider that coming up soon who's gonna do the test lap as fast as he possibly can. He or she, I should say, because it's gonna be unknown. The rider is gonna be a mystery. And we're gonna see how fast they can do the test track lap on every single different type of bike. So with that said, I'm gonna do a little course preview. On the outside of the back of the bike shop, we're gonna start right here. Whole shot, little gravel to start things off. I'm actually lucky enough to be doing it on a brand new 5010. So up the hill here, you all know the hill, the sprint past the bike shop, up the hill where all the people go on the test rides. I don't feel like going up the hill right now. Back down the hill, sharp left hander, watch out for traffic through the back of the fire station. Heart rate's getting up, working up those BPMs. Okay, cut this part, Jason, because it's kind of boring here. Okay, sharp right hander. Then, sharp right hander, bump it up onto the sidewalk here. Now, here's the sprint. This part's gonna be important. This is where the tarmacs of the world are really gonna excel. Then, up here, We've got a little gravel segment up in the grass if you want. Take the sidewalk if you want. Rider's choice, really. We're going to keep going straight. Maybe stop for traffic on the crosswalk. Maybe not. This is where things get interesting. Sharp right hander on the grass here. Down the pump track. I'm going to try to do this. Okay, okay. Up and over. One. Through the crab apples. Two. Three. A little double at the end here. It's a little grown in, but it'll get ridden out. Couple more, more bumps whoop, whoop, behind the shipping container. And then last but not least, we've built a final obstacle.
big test lap. I don't know how long anyone thinks it took, but it took the fig on a new Santa Cruz 5010. Two minutes. Hang on, hang on. Santa Cruz 5010 MX for mix wheel. Two minutes, 12 seconds, and 65 smaller seconds. I don't know if that's a fast lap or not a fast lap. He did the whole thing in a wheelie. We shall see how it goes. If you like it, let us know in the comments. If you don't, tell us. We'll skip it next time. But I think it's going to be fun. Uh, last but not least, what's coming soon? We're going to do a bike review on the new 5010 and the new Paul, Paul Boy, which we actually have out of the box right now in the Pitfield store. Round up for distance. Round down for time. See you next time. Bye, guys. I forgot what else I was going to put in this little outro, but basically, so here's the deal.